We have a testimonial. Hey. Good morning. I'm Selden Short. And I'm David Schultz, <laughs> and I'm Selden's husband. Dave and I first attended this church five years ago, back in 2012, after having been invited by our neighbors to check out this dynamic community. Being an early adopter, I felt right away that this was going to be a great place for me to learn and grow, and so I signed the book of names and made it official later that same year. Being the slow, steady, more cautious one, mm -hmm. I continued to attend with Selden as a contributing congregant for the next four years until I signed the book in 2016. Joining this beloved community made sense for me because I find it filled with thoughtful people who act on their beliefs and are dedicated to making our world a better place. And I was drawn to the dynamic and inspirational music programs, the liberal theology that challenged my understanding of the divine and the opportunities to participate in the life of this liberal, progressive church that blessed our marriage. When we were asked to serve as event co-chairs on the Love First Campaign Steering Committee, Selden, of course, was ready to say yes immediately and jump in and get started. And David, of course, wanted to ask lots of questions and make sure that we considered the time and the effort required. Well, Selden and I did talk about it, and we agreed that we wanted to support the strategic plan for the future of our church and to help make it a reality by serving on the steering committee. So being a lover of all things technical, I'm really excited about the part of our campaign plan that expands our digital presence and outreach to our city, the state, and the world through the World Wide Web. As we move into a future where more and more people will connect with each other using technology, I feel like we need to be ready to share our message and live into our commitment to be genuinely inclusive, rationally spiritual, and joyfully deep. In addition to creating a strong presence on the interwebs, I'm particularly excited about the opportunity to make Channing Hall more welcoming and functional. We need an inviting space to use as our living room where we can host events and facilitate relationships when we gather. David and I both are passionate about what this church represents in these turbulent times and what it will stand for in the future. And to show our support, we've made a stretch pledge to the campaign. So when you are contacted by one of the volunteers to set up a visit, please respond with an enthusiastic yes. <laughs> and if you've already made a pledge, thank you. And please consider becoming a visitor. The campaign's goal is to visit and have a conversation face-to-face -face with each and every member of the congregation by mid-June. So, whether you are an early adopter, or maybe you take a more cautious approach, say yes to support this campaign and ensure that our church can put love, love first, first deep, deep in, in the, the heart, heart of, of Dallas. Dallas. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, David and Selden. And you can visit with, them, with David and Selden at the table, which is out on the patio today. And if you haven't been called and want to uh, get that visit started, you can talk with them about that. Thank you so much.